Hey, gang. You know, there's... Well, I've, I've done videos on uh, some of the coins that we have before in the past, but I've been collecting on them so much, I just thought, you know what? Why not do a video on uh, on all the coins that that uh, belong to my wonderful, beautiful wife, Sarah, and I? And as you can see, there's a lot of pennies here, and um, I'm going to try to uh, do the best I can to pick up some of these and uh, show you guys what I've got. And, uh, of course, we have these right here. As you guys can see, we have these three John F. Kennedy uh, half dollars, I think, is what they are. Uh, let me see. Yeah, half dollar. Um, two of these look the same. One of these look different. So here's here's one of them. Hopefully you guys can see that one real, real good. And uh, let's see. Yeah, there's the, there's the other one. Looks about like the <laughs> like the one from before. And this one here looks a little bit, I don't know, does it look different to you guys, or, or am I just kind of crazy? And um, right here we have the uh, we have the $1 coin. And this one has an, is, I guess, another $1 coin, because it's $1 on the back. And I'll uh, show that one to you guys. And, of course, here's, here's all the pennies that say one cent on the back. One of these is from 1935. So that's that's pretty amazing. Um, and I believe this is supposed to be a gold dollar. You usually get these. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't mean to be right there. Can you see it? Um, if I can just just want to make sure. Yeah, um, these are what my wonderful, beautiful wife, Sarah, would would bring in with her when she would travel in from Oklahoma. And I would I would keep these because I thought these were really, really cool. And I used to get these from the post office. Whenever I went to go buy um, a thing of stamps, and if it was, I guess if there was still a dollar left, they'd, they'd uh, chuck this bad boy out. So that was pretty cool. And uh, let's see, this one, this one is is a Canadian nickel. Not sure if you guys can see that or not. Hold on. Okay. Well, it's a little blurry. I'm sorry about that, guys. There we go. Hopefully, you guys can see it because I think I need to wipe the lens, but. Uh, but yeah, that's Canadian nickel right there. And this one is I'm not sure. This this says it's a it's well it says a one dollar on on the one side, and then it says um, I guess it's from Mexico because it says something like uh, some kind of Mexico thing on it right there. If you guys can see it, let's see maybe about right there. Maybe maybe you guys can see it really good. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much our coin collection so far. And uh, <laughs> quite, a, quite a collection. Uh, I doubt I can spend the Canadian nickel or the, the dollar coin from Mexico. In fact, I'm not going to try to spend any of these because, you know, they're, they're, they're pretty cool. And um, I'm definitely going to keep the pennies as long as I can. And I'll, I'll tell you the truth. The thing that really got me interested in wanting to collect the the pennies that say one cent like that on the back is when my brother and I were kids, we were visiting a friend over in uh, I think it was Huntington, and we were we were hanging out at his grandma's place, and there was one of the, and we saw one of these on the on the sidewalk, and we were told keep it because I I can't remember if it was from the twenties or thirties. This is back when I think around. The somewhere around late eighties, we were, we discovered these for the first time, and we took them back to, to my parents, and they said, "Yeah, keep those because they're going to be worth money one one of these days." And so there's pennies here from, like I said, I think I, I think yeah, I think one of these is from nineteen thirty five, and they go up to about nineteen fifty, I want to say nineteen fifty two or something like that. So yes, definitely some very old pennies right there. Definitely going to keep them, and try to hopefully, uh, you know. Not spend them by accident. Well, I, of course not. I keep them in our lockbox. But every time I see a penny on the ground, I pick it up and I look in the back. And if I see what what looks like that right there, I put it in our lockbox. I'm like, I am not losing this bad boy because I've read and heard that you know pennies like that they're worth a lot of money. But I'm not gonna try and take them to somewhere. Someone around here claims they're a coin expert, and then probably just give me like fifty bucks for it. And then next thing you know, they 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 wind up you know selling it for five, six, seven, eight, ten times that much. So 
yeah so this is our coin collection so far and yeah so any more come in i'll try and do another video for you guys so there you guys have it that's uh money not not well spent or something like that i don't know i'll think of some title for the video <laughs> but i gotta get on out of here gang because i gotta get a few more things done before i head to the library thanks for watching everybody god bless you all hope you're having an awesome day hope you enjoyed the video and if you like my videos please feel free to subscribe let's stop destroying the world let's help others who really need it right now let's keep praying all this virus pandemic disease scare nonsense will stop one day soon and whether or not you believe in god he believes in you if you would if a fellow youtuber reach 100 subscribers thousand subscribers ten thousand or hundred thousand subscribers any goals you want to try to achieve this year or in life in general, hope you get there and you get there real, real soon. Make sure it's legal. Nobody gets hurt, especially yourself. And remember, you're here for a reason. But if you weren't here, you would be missed. And always stay true to yourself. Take care of yourselves. Try to be good. Try to be good to yourself and try to be good to others. Till we do this again. As always, stay strong and rock on.